So guys, I want to go over my trailer with you guys today. This is a shot so you can see it. So guys, what we use to haul our side by sides with, we're going to go over this whole trailer with you. I haul both Z-Forces on here. I haul two dirt bikes on here. I haul camping gear and I shove camping wood underneath the machines and strap it down so it doesn't move. This is an 18 foot with a two foot dovetail, so it's a 20 foot trailer. When it's loaded down, I could honestly get a four wheeler on the back, which will be the future goal, because it can handle the weight. This trailer only weighs 2,000 pounds. We got it brand new in 2018 or 2019. We paid $2,600 for it. It's a it's a Lawrymore trailer. We bought it at a local dealer, and it was a really great price. So I highly recommend this trailer. It's been a good trailer. It's got uh, brakes on it. This current model here only has one braking axle, but the 2020 model years and up have dual. So I'm actually going to message them and see if they would like to swap out an axle for me because I think it was like a recall type deal. So I still have to do that, but it stops great. It stops fine. With a car on this, if you hit the brake controller, it'll lock them up. So they work great. If you have a trailer with these little pockets, I highly recommend these. These are D-rings that go down in there and I'll have a link to those down in the description below. They're super nice. I just got them. I didn't even know they made a such a thing until a buddy of mine got some because he liked this trailer so much he went and bought one. So yeah, it is a wood deck, but we stain the deck every year and keep up on the maintenance. Has been problem free deck, no warping, no nothing like that. It hasn't even really shrunk that much. But yeah, thanks to him, I got these. They're like $40, 46 bucks for four of them. So we bought eight of them. And we only got four of them on here because I did the video the other day. Now, moving up here to the tongue of the trailer. We purchased this box off of Amazon. I'll have... I'll have a link down below in the description where you can get this. I just installed it tonight and we'll kind of show you how I installed it. This is actually an aluminum uh, truck bed toolbox. It fits the tongue perfectly and it's got plenty of room. Come in. It's got plenty of room in here to keep all of our straps. I'm going, I'm currently switching everything over to here. Here's those D rings. Our rhino straps, there's more rhino straps in here, plus the wheel straps that you guys seen in the video the other day. This, this box was $69, free shipping. I had it in just a couple of days. It, what, I ordered it on Sunday. It came today, today is Thursday. So, not bad. Um, it is a little on the thinner side, but, the welds look good on it it looks like a decent box only time will tell but i'm not going to abuse it so it should be fine let's show you guys how the lock works it has a pretty nice little locking mechanism um yeah it's not really going to keep a thief out but it'll deter an honest person like any other lock would now it didn't fit back here i bolted it inside one bolt on each corner in the front and then i ran some aluminum channel back across and i bolted it on each side and then i bolted it three times on the inside of the box now this box does have a handle so if you wanted to keep it in your bed or something um it's got two handles on it they're spring loaded so they're not going to flap around that's actually nice the rubber feels really nice overall a decent box for the money and a I can't even say it came from China because I got it too fast, but it was probably came from China like everything else does. 
So guys, I've had this trailer a few years. I've hauled a couple of cars with it. I've hauled a couple of trucks with it. No complaints from me. And it hauls two side-by-sides and then some. Well within the rating of the weight. And it just does an awesome job. No fish tailing, no none of that. I mean, it's just a smooth trailer. You really don't even know it's on the back of your Chevy. You might know it's on the back of your Ford, but that's that's for another video. <laughs> I like Fords, I'm just kidding. Um, so if you have a couple of machines and you were looking for something affordable, cheap, I know when I went to get this, they told me the payments would be $80 a month on it. That's that's actually not a bad payment deal. Um, and it was like 0% uh, interest. It was a cool deal. But I just wanted to own it outright, so I, I just wrote them a check and, and left with it. So, But it's been a, a great trailer, so I can highly recommend this trailer. I know you really... You've seen it on my YouTube channel, me hauling things with it, but I never really talked about it and gave an overall view, review of it. The wood deck. I do like the wood deck, but I hate it at the same time because I know in probably 10 years, if I'm lucky, I'm going to have to replace this wood deck. But there's no curling. It's flat. It's straight. And we're going to show you what we do to protect the underside of it from rotting out. We're not going to do that in this video, but we're going to do it in a future video when the ground is all dried out and everything. Because there's a trick up my sleeve and it will cost you zero dollars. Zilch. Nada. It's free. You can get it just about anywhere. Free. And it will save your wood but on the top we stain it with um that deck stain uh see i'm not a carpenter so i don't know these words but the deck stain stuff that's what we use a couple of coats a year and no problems the water beads right off of it so right guys this is a short one and i just wanted to show you that i just got done installing that box so i'm gonna get everything transferred over and then maybe we'll do like an update video on what I actually keep for my trailers because I have a plastic box that normally goes with us and I'm kind of tired of loading it, unloading it, putting it in the garage. So I'm going to drag it out here and I'm going to load it all into there. There's a ton of stuff. I keep log chains and everything in there. So we'll go over probably in a few days when it warms up, we'll go over what I keep in that, in that box on, on my trailer. So all right, guys, without further ado, we're going to get our butts out of here. I'm going to go edit this video and get it on the YouTube so you can watch it. I want to thank you guys for watching my channel and participating in my channel. I really appreciate it. Everything I do is strictly for all of us, not myself, not you, but everybody. And I enjoy doing it. And it's all thanks to you guys for supporting me and letting me do it. It's awesome. It's a great hobby of mine. And I truly appreciate all the kind words and the messages and the comments that everybody gives me on a daily basis. I do read them all. I may not reply to them all, but I at least read them all and click the like button on them all. So since I click the like button for you, why don't you go ahead down there and click the like button for me. And while you're down there, don't forget to check out the links in the description. So you can uh, check out all this stuff that I have. I also have an Amazon store that you can view. It has a ton of ATV accessories, winch cables, blocks, or winch blocks, all kinds of stuff for you to check out. So make sure you check those links out. And if you buy something, it gives me a little kickback to the channel. It doesn't cost you anything out of pocket. It's a really great way to show the love and support the favorite YouTubers that you really like to support without actually costing you anything extra out of your pocket. If you find something that you like and that you need on there, you buy it, I get a couple of cents. Literally, it's it's just a, a couple of percents, literally. I think it's like one to three percent. So it's not much, but it does help. It helps these videos keep coming. Thank you guys. God bless. 
Peace out and stay safe.